All right, everybody. So it's our first day on the border route trail. It's actually about 2 p.m. right now. Got kind of a late start. We were able to stay the night at Heston's. And uh, Barb over there shuttled us this morning over to the east end. Making our way west now. And uh, I think we started probably what, around 11. And uh, stopped for lunch a little while ago for about three miles. I think we're at somewhere about eight right now. Planning to camp somewhere close to Farland. Maybe go a little bit past if we still got some daylight. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those days that we got to make miles and uh, keep going forward. It's been a couple cool sites, but otherwise it's, the trail has really varied between nice five foot wide openings to a uh, branch, some stuff like that that's rather thick. So, Otherwise though, it's very well maintained uh, in comparison to the Snowbank Lake trip we did just about a month ago. So. That's about all I got. We're just hiking. I'm trying to get to camp. Get our miles in today. Uh, otherwise it's been beautiful weather. Beautiful sights. The leaves are changing. And uh, yeah, good time. All right, so here's the Pigeon River, and that is in fact Canada on the other side. So we're gonna head on over there, get some maple syrup, and we'll be back shortly. Contraband maple syrup. Yeah. All right, so we just came up out of the woods here on this ridge. We got South Fowl Lake over there. We got Canada on that side. It's quite the view to come out to. Pan around, see how the fall colors turn, turning. All right, so here's what I've been using to filter water. It's basically a ULA Amigo clone. Uh, there's a gentleman on hammock forums goes by the name of Mule that's been making them. I don't know if he still is or not, but I managed to pick one up. And uh, it's basically just a sill nylon sack with uh, some hardware on the bottom. What I was able to do there was to splice in my Sawyer Mini. And then I just came down here. And I got the Sawyer uh, attachment. That's basically for the camelbacks and whatnot. Put the end on there. I'm able to attach it to my platypus bag. And uh, the beauty about this is that I can just hook it up and I can just go back to camp and go about my business and I don't have to worry about my bottle tipping over or anything else and when it fills up it kind of just acts as a natural stop and uh, my water's done. This has just been super handy. I just go on down to the lake, kind of acts like a parachute, just drag it back and forth a couple times and uh, it's just been outstanding. All right, here we are, border route trail day two. It's actually about 2.45 p.m. So we've already covered a bit of the trail, about nine miles in. And uh, love to do a little bit more video, but I'll tell you this trail is, this trail is straight business. Um, the elevation climbs and descents are, bit more dramatic and I'm lost hey we're back so uh, that right there is just how the trail can get sometimes we just kind of got off on a little spur and before you knew it it just fizzled and uh, there was nothing looks like we actually missed a turn a little bit before that and uh, to climb up a little hill in order to find our trail and keep going but it uh, didn't take too long. Yesterday we did get off trail for a little bit, had to backtrack, but uh, 
just how it goes out here sometimes. So, got about nine miles, a little bit left to go today. And uh, train over here is a little easier to go over. Yesterday was just full of lots of football sized rocks. There's leaves, and so every step you took, you were just slipping and tripping and moving all over the place. So, feet felt pretty tired at the end of the day, but a little bit easier to move over today, so that's good. All right, so still border route trail day two. Actually logged about 15 miles now. It's about 6 p.m. And uh, we blew past the campsite at Gokebec. So we thought there was one next to the trailhead. There was not, so uh, we decided to stay roll with it. We're about to tack on another mile and a half now to make our way over to Clearwater. So we hiking in the dark tonight. But a big day should be an end with somewhere around 16, 16 and a half miles. And uh, still feeling good.